Yo, what's up everybody? This is Raz Jimmy here and I'm back with another video for you guys. And today, as you can already see, we're taking it to SG27 SM. And stay tuned for this video because I got an ace gameplay for you guys. That's great to see. And it's like the top tier of how to play this vehicle. So stay tuned for that as well too. But today I'm going to tell you about this vehicle and how you should play it. And in when I uploaded this vehicle. But any further ado guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment below what you guys want to see next and tell me what you think about this vehicle and let's get right into it so the su27 sm is it's meh it's not the greatest vehicle right now it's not the baddest vehicle like the worst vehicle you ever play with but it's a vehicle that is competitive that's all i can really say about it so far but the reason why i'm telling you about this vehicle right now or why i'm why i'm informing you about this vehicle i understand it's been months ever since the update happened but let's just get get down to the, the point is that people are a little bit scarce of the SG27 not being you know top dog or something like that or just being super competitive but it really is you really think about it so in the moment of me recording this video it's after the stock grind but it's before the the missile update so you will be seeing a old slightly old footage of me playing this vehicle and the reason why I'm playing like I'm uploading it so late is because number one the hurricane that hit Texas, I, like, God bless me, I'm not there, and God bless those that got hurt or injured or that lost their lives. Um, respect to them, uh, and, and you know, rest in peace to them. But I'm in Illinois, and we, after that whole it, whole thunderstorm or hurricane, the storm kept passing through the, the United States and it went north in various different directions for some reason. In Illinois, I'm in Illinois, it got hit very hard with heavy rain, heavy winds, and stuff like that and it knocked out a bunch of power lines a lot of you know my internet went off and stuff like that so everything just went on and off for like the majority of a couple of weeks and stuff like that luckily i didn't get as bad as, as others so but it delayed me from uploading videos and getting the content content to you guys so my apologies for that delay but we're back on track now and i want to thank you all for staying tuned and staying subscribed and watching this video right now so with this missile real quick the r77s is when it, before it got updated, I understand it wasn't the best long range, the best Fox 3 missile. It wasn't competitive. I understand that the Ang-120 AMRAM was the best one technically in the game. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna state this real quickly. Overall, the AMRAM is the overall like jack of all trade missiles. It could do it all. It could turn. It could have the long, it could capable of long distance. It can get the speed. It could do all of it. But the R-77, it's it's not comfortable at that low altitude because the aim the aim 120 can go do low altitude medium and high altitude the r77 is meant to only just go high altitude so if you add 2,000 feet the missile ain't gonna work that good but if you had 30 30,000 feet it worked way much better in the atmosphere less um denser air and it can maneuver as much as it can to get to the target and hold its speed but since people uh since everybody like evades and plus if people evade as well too that's what makes this missile very, very sad to play because when you're at low altitude, people is maneuvering and, and evading your missile. Altitude, same thing, it's much slower. And that's when this missile is more powerful at, is at high altitude because people is not maneuvering as much as they want to. But every time you maneuver against this missile, it slows down drastically. And that's the whole issue with this, this um, um, with these missiles. So understand these missiles is designed a certain way to be a certain way but it caused so much drag on these missiles for some reason especially these little fans whatever it is like it's like air brakes but they, they cause so much drag and that's what's really wrong with this missile so this is before the like i said missile update so this miss these missiles are pretty good um in my opinion it's just working has supposed to work at high altitudes you just got to play at the high altitude but it's so rare to get a high altitude gameplay because everybody still fly below 5,000 feet sometimes sometimes 10,000 and some people is up, up at the at the high but it's very rare so any further ado guys I'm going to show you this gameplay of me playing the the SG27 SM with the R77 Fox 3s and I hope you guys enjoyed this like I said hit that like button subscribe to the channel and comment below any further ado guys let's get right into the battle okay first commentary first gameplay with the new up, updated BR, see how it goes. Um, hold on, what am I looking at? Oh, okay, okay. I'm finna save you. 
I see a lot of more mix. Um, and she, I see a lot of more Russian vehicles in America. I thought they had to separate the the nations by now, but they didn't. So we had our first time playing this higher BR thirteen point seven, and we should be only seeing only vehicles that got Fox three missiles. Hopefully, if they if it's sadly that we see an F fifteen A or SU twenty seven, Jesus, or, or Yak one four one, anything that got Fox one missiles, I feel bad for you. But I think I'm down here. That's probably why. So I guess you still can see down tiers. It happens. It's whatever. So what this plane likes is high up to dogfighting, right? And it can get more distance with that uh, that function. Uh, with the denser air, less you know, less drag and stuff like that. It it desires that. So getting to like thirty thousand feet or twenty eight thousand feet is very major. So what I'm gonna do is I'm. I don't like flying left. Why do people still do this? I don't know, but you don't need to fly left all the time. So I'm almost at like 28, 25,000 feet. Maybe I'll fire one off and get a little close, but you'll see exactly what I mean. I want to track somebody so you can see what I'm talking about. They need to increase the detection range. Let's see, then I left well off. The faster I go and the higher I go, this missile become more and more stronger. As you can see, getting stronger as we speak. But for some reason, I can't get a clean lock on anybody. I got one lock, but that's the reason why I don't like the Russian radar. people below me so I gotta remember that I know that's not gonna hit anybody but I'm just curious how it's gonna play out and turn back in try to keep my speed up as I turn back in try to get that Mach 1 speed again see if I could hit one of these guys up here been a minute since I played Vietnam See, much closer, definitely in danger range, but he flying away from me. Let's see if I go to his teammate. I think that missile is tracking him. I might have to run away in a second. Fox 3, and that guy, I think is not tracking, and that's on me. I gotta pull away for a second and focus on these guys below. I hate that I still relied on a spotting system, but I was hoping to get one of these kills up here. That's why. Oh, nice. Got it. Got him. Fox 3. I got it. Got to evade. I didn't know that missile was still tracking. That's pretty good. That it was. It's not like I hear it. I don't see it, though. Pull up. A player, yes, yeah, a player. The enemy is Keep flying away. Let him do him. Got him. Got him, nice. 
Now it's left, it's this stupid area. I'll come back for him. See if I could get a shot. Ah, I almost hit him. Not good. Don't want to get caught in a turn fight with him. I got speed over him. It's no point. I don't get that much flares. Is he the last one? He is. I'm the last one. I oh, am. Yeah. Okay. Just me and him. All right. So to be him, I got to keep him in a one circle. That is the plan. It's the only way I could beat him. Still don't got the best crew for him, but it's whatever. Should do the cobra maneuver right now. Can I? Mm. I don't really trust myself. Still got the speed advantage over here. Keep that speed up. I want to switch to Cobra, but I don't want to mess it up. See if that hits. Ah. Cobra would have definitely helped. This might be it for me. Be mad if I die to him. He's stalling on purpose. All I gotta do is vague. Yep, almost got him. I know he ran ammo. I want to use the Cobra. Let me, let me double check and see where's it at. So it's opposite. I gotta remember that. I'm gonna try to do Cobra and then hopefully kill him. And then. Oh. That's a bad one. Got him. He messed up. I didn't need it, but he messed up. So I'm gonna be real with you. Harris is very, very dangerous. Da very dangerous. Very ah. Very dangerous. That was a good fight. That was that was actually a good fight. And I'm, I'm happy that I got that ace recorded for you guys. That was a good fight. That was a good one. Come on, GG. No. <laughs> Dream. He could have flown circles. Like, he could easily lock me into a two circle. I did it multiple times. And if he could have just, if, for example, if I would have. In fact, I'll just talk about it to the next battle. Next battle. For this match, I want to try some. I'm carrying um, two ER missiles instead of carrying six um, R77s. So that last match, real fast. I played with the Harrier in the Dev server, and what it can do against these SG27s and F15s, it can it can keep up with them, even though they have a higher AOA. But the Harrier can sustain that high AOA as well too. Because it's already subsonic and it's already very maneuverable. 
you can get killed pretty easily if you're not careful in the SG-27 or F-15C versus a Harrier 8B+. So I got a couple kills against those vehicles, and I know what it can do. Um, he wanted to get me into two circles. He, his mistake was allowing me to have a one circle to make him overshoot and get his nose in front of me so I could get a, fo uh, a Fox 2 missile out of him. So that was his mistake. Um, yeah, and that was a pretty good fight. That was a pretty good fight. I wanted to be safe, keep my speed, and not get too slow. Just being smart, you know, being wise of my decisions, stuff like that. And that's basically it. I want to shoot a Fox 3 first over there and then shoot a ER missile over here if I can. Is it going for the same target? Because I hard locked it. I don't know for sure if it did. I think it did. Maybe it did. Oh, that missed it anyway. Check it that. Yep, both of them miss. Uh, R-77 is still floating. I don't know what you're looking at. We're still getting locked? Hope not. You don't know if you're getting locked by R-77 or not. I'll try to hold that lock as long as I can. Enemies behind me. Speed up. This is gonna be a difficult map. This really is. Oh, he just got hit. I think I'm gonna die. I'm G lock. Can do anything. Go to my team by myself. Oh, okay, I got one person. One person with me. I think I'm straight there. I couldn't tell how many people behind me caught a G lock. Let me try to keep my uh, my IR missiles. That guy's n not chasing me. Let me see. Double check. I think he not. I can't tell. I think he killed him. Oh, okay, he dead now. I guess he stalled and killed my teammate. I don't know for sure which one it was. He definitely stalled, I think. This dude was coming straight towards me. Hold on. Double trip, make sure. He survived mine, and I survived his. Thing is, I'm G-Lock because I don't have an expert at crew. Huh, he died? I think he died. Okay. Last person. Turn it off. F-15. I switched to IR, um, so it won't. So you won't be. So you won't see me on radar. But you will see me coming from behind him. Don't lock a flare. And fire. I think you realize I'm behind him. No, you don't. Dead. That's the last kill, I think. He's trying to take it so bad. Let me finish him off because this is my kill. Even though I saved him, and it shouldn't matter. Let's die already, bro. <laughs> I ain't hit the cop. I ain't hit the 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 crew. The cockpit. So that's why he's still alive. There you go. Four, hey, four kills. Hey, I'm doing pretty good. I might use this instead of the, my old video, and this live commentary. Woo! Don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong with live comment. Like nothing wrong with you know post commentary. Live commentary is better. It's full reaction. It's a little loud around me, but I'm actually liking this little. 
you know, full Fox 3s and two, two radar guided missiles. Like, of course they are radar guided, but uh, Fox 1 missiles. That's that's pretty cool. I like this combination. Um, but did my luck run out? We're going to find out with this class battle. Hopefully it go good like the last two battles. And like I said, nothing wrong with post commentary. I feel like you give your full energy in the live action. You know what I mean? Compared to the post commentary. Post commentary, you're watching it. You got to study what you just did and then reiterate that in the recording so you can uh, so people can understand what just happened. And I think that's the difference between the post commentary and a lot of commentary. A lot of commentary. I'm not the best, you know, in my opinion, Fly Daily gave the best live commentaries. And it's pretty cool for him to see that because it shows that how much he really enjoyed the game. Um, compared to, I, I don't know what's going on with Spitfire, but Spitfire, he did the post commentary um, air battles and stuff like that. And it was always pretty cool to see that because it gave you more, more, he gave you more accurate information compared to, is that Fox 3? No, can't be right. This is going to be a little difficult because of the night battle. Switch to ERs because closer range. I think I'm dead. Bro, why do I keep giving me the same map? Man, I got this map. What well, What is map rotation, bro? I got this map like three times in a row already. People talking about the new next next song, Gen Fighters. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. F eighteen, F thirties, I mean SU thirties and F thirteen. It's gonna be crazy. We are not gonna see the SU twenty twenty twos or SU I mean, F thirty F twenty twos or F thirty fives anytime soon. But it will be a sight to see for sure. Don't need a chaff here, there's no point. Do I need a chaff? It's gonna be bad when shooting a Fox 3. Is that a red player? I don't think it is. It's a missile. Jesus. You don't see me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How, how'd I miss? Huh? How'd I miss? He don't even see me. Come on now. Don't do that to me. Yeah, my bad. The crew ain't upgraded, so... It's gonna be a little difficult to, to get some kills. Like, stop showing this dark screen. Contact. You might can kill him unless somebody else do. Nope, going for this guy instead. He's dead. Nice. A teammate, bro. Why? I was doing good. Why? Well, that guy killed me with no mercy. Teammate just pretty fast, typical war thunder day. So, um, the SG-27 SM, as you can see in the right hands, is very capable of being competitive with the F-16s, F-15s. F in, in general, I'm sorry. It's capable of fighting against the F-15, F-16s, um, and rams and stuff like that. Technically just and rams in general, it can compete with those missiles. You just got to be more methodical and more smarter with it because these missiles are not really made for um, low altitude dog fighting. These are mainly made for like high, high, very, very high altitude dog fighting, 30,000 30, feet, 40,000 if possible. Um, and to the, the low minimum is around like 20,000 feet you can use these missiles with. Now, like I said, the AMRAMS is a jack of all trades. The R-77 is a high altitude dog fighter. And the Mikas are the low altitude, close range dogfighting missiles. 
in the AIM 120, just a jack of all trades. If you're having a struggle time versing these AIM 120s, you should understand how to use these, this, this vehicle. As you can see in this video, I, I did pretty good. I'm surprised I did. Um, using the terrain, using yo, you know, using these missiles as as like as a, a ET missile, you know, short range uh, IR missile, treat it like that. I would say that that's the best way of treating it. You should treat, treat it like a short range missile. You finna do a fake hit on the invade, dip into terrain, dip into child, stuff like that. It'd be cool. As you can see, I did it multiple times. And it actually worked. I, that's the first time I used that method. And, and this is my first time being at the new top, top tier, even though it doesn't really matter. Uh, the new top tier um, for this vehicle. So. Any further ado, guys, if you like this video, if you new to the channel, if you think the content was pretty great, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment below what you guys think and just any tips or tricks that you need to know or need to ask me in the comment section below. It's always available. I'm always available for you guys. And also, um, comment below what you guys want to see next. Um, I did the F-15C. I want to revisit on that, so that's going to happen pretty soon. And plus, the sand battle as well with that for my previous before the update. And then I will do uh, a sim battle with this vehicle as well too. Maybe next would be the SMT, mix between the SMT or the Mika. I didn't do a Mika video yet, so that might be next in the next list. So stay tuned for those videos. I wanna thank you all again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.